Okay, honestly, where else would you expect the kettlebell to originate from other than Russia? Where else? We're talking about the people that wrestle a bear in their underwear when it's 30 degrees out. We're talking about the people who drink a bottle of vodka at a time and have no problem betting their entire family on a game of cards. We're talking about the people that could watch an entire Dave Chappelle show and not even crack a smile. <sighs> okay, I digress. Hey, what's up? My name is Skylar Deem. I'm the founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you lose weight and keep it off and do it without the sucky or strict dieting, without counting calories and weighing all your food, and definitely without eating five or six times a day. What we're going to talk about today, as well as all the other videos I've put out, has helped clients of mine drop weight and feel incredible and simplify the process. And my goal with these videos is to help you do the same. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, you hit that bell, because I'm putting out new videos every week to get you in the best shape of your life. Okay, so while a lot of people tend to think that Russia is the place where the kettlebell originated. Um, it actually has more of an interesting history than I thought. In fact, it is believed that a version of the kettlebell called the Greek Haltier was used in the first Olympic Games in 776 BC. This one was supposedly lighter, so it was weighing between about 4.5 to 20 pounds, and it was used to propel people further during the long jump. So it was basically something that they could swing and use the momentum of to jump further. Then in the 960s, rectangular cinder blocks were introduced by the Shaolin monks, and these were used to swing, but also to throw and to catch. This practice had a name called Shi Suo Guang, and these blocks weighed anywhere between 10 and 35 kilograms, which is about 22 to 77 ish pounds. Then we fast forward to Russia. So in 1704, the word Giria or kettlebell was added to the Russian dictionary. And the cool part is it was actually used as a counterweight by farmers. So this was used to weigh out certain crops and other items. And the assumption here is that while these farmers had downtime, they started getting competitive with these weights. Who could lift the most? Who could hold it the longest? Fun little masculine games like that. In 1880, the kettlebell was introduced to the Russian military as a training tool. In 1902, kettlebells started being promoted in the United States. In 1913, there was a popular magazine called Hercules Magazine that introduced an article on the kettlebell. In the 1940s, the kettlebell was officially introduced as an official sport in Russia. And then over time, since that point, the kettlebell starts being promoted through the World Kettlebell Lifting Championship, Pavel Sassulin, and the Rolling Stone Magazine. And here we are today. Currently, we have kettlebell sports. We have people training with kettlebells for fat loss, for Muay Thai, for MMA for jujitsu and the tool is seen as an incredibly effective way to build power to build strength and definitely to build endurance I've done a lot on the kettlebell including a challenge where I swung a 70 pound kettlebell 200 times every single day for a month and I can undoubtedly speak to its effectiveness in terms of building power strength endurance and even helping with fat loss and it really is a useful tool and a very interesting way to switch up someone's typical training so there's the history of the kettlebell you got a kettlebell and you're looking for some workouts to follow along to I've got plenty of those on my channel and if if you're looking to use that kettlebell to lose weight or you're just looking to lose weight in general we've got a free training in the description of this video that lays out our exact fat loss system but until then if you are looking for more awesome ways to simplify the process of burning fat and getting in incredible shape make sure you subscribe to the channel you hit the like button on this video and you tap that bell and feel free to check out some of the other videos on this channel but with that being said as always make sure to eat smart move more sleep deep and be grateful for this moment i'll see you in the next video